get it in the shore. Now I'm gonna pull the mouse trap. Our trap went off, but I can't get the boat back in. The fish is pulling the boat. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. I had a buddy of mine here. The dog doesn't seem to like me though. So you got a package for me, eh? Yeah, you betcha. Right on. Yeah, so just well, arrived today. Perfect. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Let me go on that side. Toys. Toys for big boys. This will be fun. And what am I going to do with this? Cool. There we go. My battleship. For big boys that like big toys. We don't need a bigger boat. You'll see what I'm up to with this. I'm just a big kid. I'm gonna attempt to take my uh, remote control ship, tie a fishing line to it, troll around with my uh, MEPS number three, my pink lure I love. And I'm here at the lake that Zach and I first went to on the 30 day challenge. Maybe I'll have three before you get back. Isn't it a contest at three? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh. A blooper. <laughs> <laughs> These are little fish in here. So I don't think we need a bigger boat. We're gonna troll around with the ship. See if we can catch some fish doing that. But it's going to be a little contest in a sense. I'm also going to use the mouse trap because I know it'll float. Now, what do you think? Do you think I'm going to catch more with the ship or the mouse trap? The mouse trap, I'll just pull with the boat out there and let it sit. But I know this thing was dynamite. I, I am absolutely amazed with this trap. Mouse trap to a board. Unreal. Basically what I did was just tied the headband around the boat. I'm not sure if it's the right angle, so we'll just take it down, put the camera on, and see what direction. I'm probably not going to use like a very long line anyway. We'll go do a test run. I'm gonna only tie about four feet of line on and hopefully that's gonna work for us. I'm having trouble keeping my camera where I want it. Kind of just jerry-rigged it. I see a couple swimming around, but we'll have to just make sure the camera's gonna stay. The boat doesn't even wanna stay anywhere. This is gonna be uh, interesting, I'd say. Okay. Wrong way. I'm gonna spend the night up here at the lake. I see a problem with trolling with the boat though. The line wants to get tangled up in the props if you turn and this and that. I might have to just take it out with a hook, tie the camera to the bottom and get a downward shot. Um, just doesn't seem to be working. So, different day. 
Uh, not only is the boat scaring the fish, uh, when you slow the boat down, the line was getting wrapped up in the propellers and I had trouble getting it back off the lake actually. And then I'll uh, leave about 10 feet from the ship, which is actually this uh, is a replica, replica of the Bismarck. Make sure it doesn't get all tangled. At least now I can uh, see when I'm getting action from the bobber. But yeah, the boat was scaring them off. It doesn't really sit the way I wanted it to. I'm gonna have to set that up different. The GoPro is pointing the wrong way. This about capsized my boat. We gotta set that GoPro up different. Well, this is trial and error again. That's what it is, I mean. If you're gonna spew, spew into this. I'll make the adjustments and we'll send her out again because uh, until I figure out how I want the camera to sit, this is pointless. Well, this is something else, I'll tell you. Seems like the battery on the boat died. It doesn't want to do anything. Unless, maybe the uh, lines wrapped around the propellers again. Now I gotta figure out how to get the boat back. I've been trying for over half an hour to get this boat to come back in and they can't retrieve it now. Ha! It's ridiculous. Fortunately, there is a boat that people leave here. Now I gotta go out in the boat to retrieve it. Well, I guess I just got a bail. Oh, aye, aye, aye. So much for the Bismarck. Well, the uh, one propeller, the uh, line got wrapped around it. That's why it was just turning circles and wouldn't come into shore for me. I'm gonna keep trying, but I still have more faith in the mouse trap because I can just float it out there, let it sit. When it goes off, just bring the boat back in. <clears throat> Not all your ideas work, you know, so. I got a new idea for trying to catch a fish with this battleship replica. What I did this time is I went with floating line. Floating fly line. I had to duct tape it at the end because I did a trial um, run. When the line gets here, it flips the boat. So I got to keep it here. I did that with duct tape. Then, because the boat goes too slow, I decided I put some water in this buoy. Dropped it almost. But the water goes side to side. But anyway, and I'll hang my GoPro from here. Tie my line to here. Camera angle. Hopefully we uh, get a fish that'll bite. I'll get all set up. We'll send her out. Get the Bismarck headed out. Oh, we'll turn the remote on. There it is.
struggles against the current of the creek. Basically just staying still. <laughs> Can't go ahead, but that's good. The spinner's turning. We got one. We can get it in the shore. one with our boat. <laughs> there we go. Battleship. Our battleship got one. Nice. Huh. That took forever though. I still have more confidence in the uh, mouse trap, but we finally got one in the creek with our remote control boat. I'll see if I can let this guy go. He's not very big. Well, if you stay still, I can let you go, but I guess maybe you go in the frying pan with that kind of attitude. If I can get the hook out as the other thing. Yep, I got it. Okay, remote control boat. Right on. There he goes. You'll be okay. Okay, so we did manage to catch one with our boat, remote control boat, but it took a lot of effort, a lot of trial and error. So now I'm gonna pull the mouse trap behind the boat into this pond. I'm at a different lake than I started out at. Got our GoPro. I think that's a good angle. Line will just hang here. GoPro should get all the action. I'm gonna send her out and see if we can finish this video off with uh, catching one with the mouse trap again. It worked dynamite for the ice fishing, so I'm pretty sure it'll float. Get it on the GoPro. Our trap went off, but I can't get the boat back in. The fish is pulling the boat. And uh, I don't know how to rescue the boat now. It's got my camera on it. It's pulling the mouse trap and the boat. I can't get it in. <laughs> Boat's having trouble pulling the fish, even if it's tiny. Slowly coming in. Tired the fish, maybe. Okay, we got one. Mouse trap works every time, I tell you. But the boat had trouble pulling the fish in.
partly because he's wrapped in reeds, I guess. Okay. Oh, falling in the swamp. This mouse trap works every time, but this time the boat had trouble pulling this fish in. That's unreal, man. Mouse trap every time. So, 1,100 men went in the water, 316 men come out, the sharks took the rest. So that's the end of the uh, remote control boat video. We were successful, we caught one in the creek with the boat, one in the lake, with the trap, most trap works every time, as soon as they touch it. I had problems with the boat, because the fish, unless they had a long line, uh, seemed scared of the boat. Keep your eye open for coming videos, and uh, the channel is offering memberships now. But don't feel obligated, I appreciate all you subscribers, and hopefully, uh, if you can afford it, you'll help support the channel, becoming a member, uh, you'll be able to get early editions of the videos and extended versions as well. But I appreciate you all. I appreciate your comments. So watch for me on the next one. I'm going to try to keep them exciting, entertaining, and informative. That's important too, you know. <laughs>